Today was the second round of the Adam Bates bursary and it's a workshop where 16 actors get together and they work on two speeches. We've been running this uh, Adam Bates bursary for a few years. Um, I don't know how many people of your generation sort of know very much about Adam Bates, but he was uh, a patron of the Actors Centre for a long time and um, very, very passionate about this place very dedicated to the values that it stands for and um, really cared a lot about young actors and the problems that they face as they embark on their careers. I think it was a great success in that everybody got to work together and Matthew put everybody at ease straight away. Although we are looking at actors, it's still a collaborative process and to be able to kind of pitch in and just get involved without kind of feeling like you're being judged in a way it was quite successfully um, done, I thought. This is a, um, a very, very quick sort of brief session and it's about ensemble, really. It's about collaboration, collaborative work. And, um, you know, we, we kind of think it's important to assess the way in which you can just chuck yourself into a process that's offered to you as well as what you're like when you do a scene, for instance. So um, we're watching you, but try not to think about that. Just <laughs> have a nice time. <laughs> we're here today in a workshop, um, kind of about see how we work as an ensemble and how we work with other actors, which I think is really important. It's actually a big strand of our training, what our training focuses on. Um, and we then looked at uh, the, spe the speeches from Way to Vigodo and from Duet for One. Now this is um, Lucky's amazing <coughs> speech from Way to Vigodo, uh, which I know you were sent a copy of to look at. Basically we kind of deconstructed the text, so what we what happened was uh, the, the text was split into kind of different voices uh, and each person within the group kind of took took a particular strand of the speech and tried to make sense of it. Um, and it was great actually just to have that opportunity to take a text which, you know, at first glance looks completely incomprehensible. Completely. <laughs> you read it and it was like, oh, and try, well, like, try to make it some, some sense of it. That man in Essie, the man in short, that man in Britain, in despite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, wastes and pines, wastes and pines, and concurrently simultaneous, what is war for reasons unknown, in spite of the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports. Such as tennis. When we were doing the exercise, um, I was trying, because it was quite disjointed and he had a single voice, I was trying to, uh, l to feed off other people um, by, um, I don't know, just by, you know, if, if there's a guy on the floor being definitely spasming, like just trying to, to feel that and just to try and say their words in your head as they were saying them, but through their voices. Just so that it wasn't, because I was quite bad at picking up my cues, I told off. But, uh, you know, I was just trying after a while just to really keep in line with everybody. And, speak it as they spoke it through their voices. I have tried to tell you. I have told you. I mean, I... <laughs> David. Yes, look, that's my husband. David. You know David Lieberman. The world famous composer. The great thing about the award is because it's not monetarily, like, cash. Like, you invest it. People who have come, probably come off the award to invest in their acting rather than, you know, paying for their rent or whatever. Uh, the Alan Bates bursary would mean so much to me, you know, first and foremost in terms of um, giving me confidence in what I do as an actor um, and then also just in terms of the help it gives you, the help to, to have headshots and um, to have classes and to feel like there's something supporting me, you know, in the first couple of, the first year out of drama school, so it, it would mean a big, it would be a hell of a lot, yeah, it'd be great. We have to whittle it down to six participants out of 16 today, and that's quite, quite a hard task. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at their CVs again and just talk about how they got on and um, their performances individually, but also as an ensemble as well, how that went, and then we will choose people to go forward from that.